In this episode, a softer side to the much feared great white shark is witnessed. The heart stopping video shows the moment a great white shark turns toward a diver in the murky waters of South Africa's Southern Cape. It swims right up to the diver before nibbling his GoPro camera. The shark's teeth are just millimeters from his scalp, and yet the shark is gentle and inquisitive. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. When animals attack, the stories make headlines across the world. People are shocked and horrified when they hear about encounters with the Earth's apex predators, but they are also mesmerized. There's something fascinating about these stories, something that grips our attention. It's little wonder why we fear these animals. They've been built up to be dangerous, mindless predators that will attack unprovoked whenever they're given the chance. Mark was a videographer for a shark cage diving company in South Africa. As a Brit, Mark wasn't used to diving with great whites off the UK coast, but he had been working as a videographer in South Africa for some time. He photographed the tourists who had paid to witness the sharks up close. The dive company operated out of Mossel Bay on South Africa's Southern Cape. The bay and the surrounding area are teeming with marine wildlife. The waters are full of fish, seals, whales, penguins, dolphins, and of course, sharks. It's considered by some to be the best place in the world to see great white sharks, and tourists flock there for a thrill-seeking adventure. In July 2023, Mark boarded the boat full of tourists and they motored out to sea from Kleinbrack Beach. The choppy waves made for a bumpy ride, but the 31-year-old was used to it. He had done this dozens of times before. What better job in the world than being paid to swim with sharks? When they reached the site, the crew cut the engine and lowered the cage into the water, its top sticking out above the surface of the sea. The tourists began to prepare themselves for entering the open ocean. They pulled on masks and snorkels. The water was murky, visibility was poor, but the sharks were out there and they were coming their way. It wasn't long before the tourists got their first taste of adventure. Their hearts thundered in their chest as the shadowy image of a great white shark emerged before them. The sharks circled the boat. From the deck, the crew could see the characteristic shape of the great white below. Its dorsal fin slicing through the water's surface, its tail propelling it slowly forward as it inspected the boat and the people in the cage. It glided slowly by carefree in its movements, but with an incredible power capable of being unleashed at any second. Mark strapped his GoPro hero to his head and submerged beneath the waves. He sank beside the cage on the outside of the bars and pressed the record button on his camera. The shark swam around the cage. It circled the tourists and thrashed in the water as it took chunks of meat that were thrown from the boat in front of the paying guests. Mark continued to record. Despite the poor visibility, the footage was good. The customers loved to watch back their experience and show their friends just how close they came to one of nature's greats, but none came quite as close as Mark. As he was filming, one of the sharks turned and swam directly toward him. The tourists inside the cage held their breaths, their eyes opened wide. Was the hungry shark, already enticed by the taste of fresh blood, going to take a bite from Mark? Was he going to be next? Mark stayed calm. He had been in this situation before. He marveled at the incredible animal before him. Its huge head and body, its mouth was slightly agape, revealing its razor-sharp teeth as it came towards him. He could see the pink flesh inside its jaws, but it showed no aggression at all. It was merely curious, swimming gently toward the young cameraman. He could likely sense the electrical pulses from the GoPro and wanted to investigate. It swam up to Mark and nibbled the camera on top of his head. Its teeth were almost touching his skin, and still Mark remained absolutely calm. He knew the shark wasn't there to attack him. After mouthing the camera briefly, the shark then nudged it with its nose before swimming away. The encounter, caught on camera, was about as close as you can get to a shark without being eaten. But it showed a completely different side to these animals. It wasn't the monster that they have so often been made out to be. They aren't mindless eating machines. They don't eat everything in their path. They can be curious and timid. They can be gentle and inquisitive. 
Although the incredible footage shows a softer side to sharks, people are fascinated by the video. The diver's head is just a centimeter from the animal's jaws, and with one lunge forward, the shark could have grabbed Mark with its razor-sharp teeth. But it didn't, and that's a lesson for us all. Sharks are known to mouth objects to help them determine what they are. It's their way of feeling. Their snouts are incredibly sensitive, and often they'll take a small bite to see if the object is potential prey or not. This is why human-shark interactions often involve one bite before the shark swims away without pursuing the attack. But all too often, these so-called small bites prove fatal for humans because the shark is such a powerful animal. Mark's recent encounter that has been shared across social media many times may soon be a thing of the past. In the last few years, South Africa has seen a significant decline in great white sharks off its coast. Research has shown that there are thought to be just 333 individuals that swim in the waters off South Africa. Mark's shark was an individual from this single population of great white sharks, a dwindling population. So why are great white sharks leaving South Africa? Some have suggested that the only predator powerful enough, big enough, and brave enough to take on a great white shark is responsible. Orcas, or killer whales, are known to hunt sharks, and their thriving numbers can have a significant impact on local shark populations. But others are skeptical. They don't believe orcas are to blame, because usually after orcas sweep through an area, demolishing great whites, the shark numbers bounce back relatively quickly. Other factors are likely to be at play. Firstly, South Africa's shark nets, which have been deployed along stretches of the coastline to protect swimmers, result in considerable deaths of marine wildlife. Not only are sharks caught in the nets, but other animals, including the shark's prey, die from entanglement in the nets. This adds to the decline in shark numbers in South African waters. Furthermore, their food source is becoming scarce. Unsustainable harvesting of smoothhound and soupfin sharks between 2016 and 2019 had a knock-on effect throughout the food chain. These two smaller shark species are prey for great whites, but that's not all. Changes in biodiversity due to overfishing led to unmaintained kelp forests, which created an impenetrable barrier. Sharks were unable to access their other main source of prey, fur seals. These seals sought refuge in the shallow bays on the other side of the kelp. As a result, the predominant prey species are dwindling or inaccessible, therefore the sharks are moving elsewhere to find food. A once iconic species off South Africa's Cape, great white sharks may only be seen in footage like that from Mark's GoPro in the future, unless we can find a way to conserve this vital species.